Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to see the fully automated script to install all prerequisites for Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 and Active Directory, including .NET, Visual C++, Redistributables, Windows Feature, URL Rewrite, and UCMA 4.0. Whether you are setting up a new Exchange environment or rebuilding one, this script does it all for you. No manual downloads, no missing feature, just run and relax. Let's see our scenario. I have two servers. One is DC001 that is our domain controller and the IP is 192.168.2.174 and the Windows Server 2022 has been installed on it and the domain is techyjack.local and the another server is EX01 and the IP is 192.168.2.175 and Windows Server 2022 is installed on it and it is joined with the domain techyjack.local. So let's move to the server and have a look on the script. Right now I am on a DC001 and if we see here the computer name is DC001 and the domain is techyjack.local and the IP address is 192.168.2.174. Let me close this and let me open my C drive and here I have a folder by the name of script and inside this I have installed the AD prerequisites script. If we have a look on this script, if the redistributable are installed, it will skip it. It will check for the .NET Framework 4.8 or later. If it is already installed, it will skip it. Otherwise, it will download and install it. Same goes with the C++ redistributable 2012. If it is already installed, it will skip it. Otherwise, it will download and install it. Here it is for the C++ 2013. And it will also install the required feature that is Windows feature RSET ADDS. Once it download and installed all the prerequisite, it will write all AD prerequisite handled successfully. So let's close this and try to run the script to install the prerequisite on our AD server. Let's try to open the PowerShell as an administrator. And let me navigate to the script folder. Here we have a script AD prerequisites. So let's try to run this script and I will hit enter. You can see starting Microsoft Exchange AD prerequisite installer .NET Framework 4.8 already installed and it is skipping it. Now it's installing Visual C++ 2012 and now it is installing 2013. It's downloading it from here. And if we go and see the program and feature, you can see these two are installed. So it installed the C++ redistributable and RSET ADDS is already installed so it is skipping it. So the prerequisites on our AD server has been completed. Let's go to the exchange now. Let me bring my exchange server here and by the time I will restart the AD server. This is our exchange server. If we see the local server, you can see the computer name is ex01 joined with the domain techyjack.local and IP is 175. If I check the user with the who am I, you can see I am logged in with the TechyJack administrator. Let me minimize this. Let's go to the C drive and here the same thing I have done. I have a script folder inside my C drive and I have a final exchange prerequisites script here. And if you see here, it will check the redistributable. If installed, it will skip it. Same it will do for the .NET Framework 4.8. If it is installed, it will skip it. And the C++ redistributable 2012 and 2013. And after that, it will install the required feature. So these are the all required feature we need to install before installing the exchange. So it will install it. And after that, it will check for the URL rewrite. If it is found, it will skip. Otherwise, it will download and install it. And same it will do for the UCMA. And once all is done, it will write the all prerequisite handled successfully. So let me close it and try to run it. I will open the PowerShell and run as administrator. I will navigate to the script folder. And here we have our final exchange prerequisites PowerShell script. So let me try to run this and I will hit enter. You can see it is downloading and let me open the appfiz.cpl. Here you can see it has installed the C++ 2012 
and now it is installing C++ 2013 if we refresh it here you will see the installation is done now it's checking for the prerequisites and it's installing the feature you can see the .NET Framework 4.5 feature is already installed so it is skipping it installing RPC over HTTP installation succeeded it will only install the missing feature and if it is already installed it will skip automatically installing the RSET clustering now installing WAS process model installing web ASP net 4.5 you have to wait for the script to run and there is no manual download needed all the download will be handled by the script let me enlarge this these are already installed so it is skipping it installing web WMI installing RSET ADDS now it is installing IIS URL rewrite and you can see it is downloading it and now it is installing it and once it is installed we will see it here so we can see here now IIS URL rewrite module 2 has been installed and now it says UCMA 4.0 not detected and downloading UCMA installer you can see it is downloading it after downloading it it will do a silent installation of UCMA I would like to tell you that I'm running this script on the fresh server I did not install any of the feature prior to this script you can run this script and leave the computer for some time and script will automatically download and install the required feature it downloaded the UCMA installer and now it is installing UCMA 4.0 and this will be a silent install you don't need to provide any input there here it says 4.0 installation completed all prerequisites handled successfully and if I refresh it here you can see the Microsoft Unified Communication Managed API 4.0 has been installed with required packages. So our prerequisites are completed successfully. And now we are good to go with the extending schema, preparing Active Directory and installing Exchange. Also one important thing, if you have already run this script and you run it twice, will it harm anything? I would like to show you that if we run this script again, it will not harm anything and if I hit enter you can see it is skipping the things here you can see URL rewrite already installed skipping UCMA already installed skipping and here we do not have any changes so script is completely safe if you run it twice it will not change anything very soon I will be uploading this script to the blog techiejack.com and if you need any help related to the exchange or you required any custom script you can contact on info at techiejack.com if you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more exchange, Windows Server and email hosting tutorials. And in our next video, I will be preparing a automatic script which will install the prerequisites and it will also extend the schema and will prepare the Active Directory and all domain. So let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.